Hello! The 35th chapter of the book of Isaiah is quite something. In this text, the prophet offers us a powerful vision of renewal. And it's renewal of the land when the text says desert, de desert, sorry, desert shall rejoice and blossom, but it's also renewal of the people. Speaking of the weak that will be given strength, that eyes and hear will be open and renewal of the creation where the aunt of the jackals shall become a place where uh, grass and reeds will grow and and the path a path will be open where there will be no danger at all for the people and we read that and we want to say wow wow we want this we want this so much uh, probably because it's a very uplifting vision and also because we like stories of transformation we like in a movie for example or in in a novel how an underdog will defeat all the struggle in front of this character and eventually succeed and have a happy after at the end of the the story we like those stories and and we like and in our church, we like our stories of how people are transformed and, and and how God is active now in their life and or see little miracles uh, happening in our neighborhood, in our country or around the world. However, in some case, we have people who are full of faith, who put their full confidence in God and change and transformation does not happen the flaws are still there the struggle are still there people might still be hit with addiction or, or brokenness and the message we tell them it's it's what is the message do we tell them what kind of message they receive from religious people when we say you know give your problem to god and god will solve your problem okay i give all my problem to god and i still have problems so what god does not love me does god does not care what kind of message do we send also what kind of message do we send to the world when we try to be agents of change, agent and transformation, when, and when people, when church people stand in the way of renewal, of change, of transformation? Interestingly, Vaclav Havel, philosopher, writer, and president, uh, wrote, Hope is not the conviction that something will turn out well but the certainty that something makes sense regardless of how it will turn out. Most of the time we put all the focus on the result. You know, it start very bad and it will be successful when it will be good. You have a very crummy parking lot full of broken bottle and syringe and if it's turned into a beautiful part, this is success. If it's not turned into a beautiful part, it's not success. This is how most of us are thinking and, and the idea that is reinforced. Well, Isaiah says somehow, no, it does not have to be that way. He says that another world is possible. This vision could be or be a reality for us today. And we don't have to wait for everyone to agree with us, everybody to be on their side. We can start now. We can start now at working at this renewal of the land, of the creation, of the people. 
and success is not measured of if we achieve by checking all the boxes success is achieved if we are working for it and advent is maybe the perfect time for this because advent is not about necessarily the birth of jesus but how we prepare ourselves for the birth of jesus it's not successful advent journey is not if we go to church every sunday and show up on christmas eve which is nice by the way but that's not the point advent is about preparing ourselves for and opening ourselves for the presence of divine majesty that will show up in our world in our life it's about believing that everything is possible even the improbable believing that we can start this journey of renewal as said by Isaiah well that's all for today thank you for watching listening I'm the lectionary man Stéphane Vermet and until next time take care of yourself bye bye